Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video. Well, as you've seen in the description, I'm going to be talking about sculpting proportions. Proportions in human anatomy, that is. And we're going to focus specifically on the human face. Now, there are a lot of ratios to discuss, but keep one thing in mind, that is that each and every person is unique. So the guides are exactly that. They are guidelines, right? They're always going to be exceptions to the rule and not everybody's the same, but it will be a good guide to get you going, if you will, right? So I loaded up this image of a, a male in this case. And if we look from the front view to start with, uh, and we look at the uh, face, we see that there's a circular shape, right? Roughly from the top of the head, if we do not include the hair, right, to the bottom of the chin, that's a circular shape. But a lot of people make the mistake when they are sculpting to make the head round. And it isn't, because the head is not round, it is basically tapered. So keep that in mind. Now, what a lot of people do is when they're sculpting in, for example, ZBrush or 3D Coat, they start off with a sphere and then they use the cutoff tool to kind of cut down this shape here right left and right and sometimes in the bottom as well okay now from this circle measured if we look at the overall face we see that the eyes are exactly midway of that circle okay so if you have the top of the head and the bottom of the chin there's a line smack in the middle and that is basically where the eyes are positioned okay so one half above one half below now, looking at this, what we find is if you go down a step, exactly the half of that space, you will find the bottom of the nose, right? So a circle would be of all shape, eyes smack in the middle, and then the distance between the eyes and the bottom of the chin cut in half will be the bottom of the nose. Now, what about the bottom of the mouth? Once again, half of that space. So it's half, half, and half. Now, um, typically, the ears are positioned between the bottom of the nose and the top of the eyes or the center of the eyes, right? So if we look at this from these brackets point of view, the ears would be in between. Now, keep in mind that in many photographs, people are looking slightly down or slightly up. As a result, it looks like the, eye, the ears are higher or lower. And that's even the case in this photo. The head is tilted slightly forward, right? Okay. Now, when it comes to the eyes, if we look from the top view, we'll see that there's spacing between the eyes, right? And it's the bridge of the nose, and that is the width of approximately one eye width, right? So one eye here, one eye there, one eye there. And then to the left and the right, this space is about half of that, right? So half of an eye half of an eye. So you would basically have a half, one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, and four if you go from one side to the other, right? Okay, this is all about the front view. What about the side view? Now, the side view is a lot more complicated because when it comes to differences in faces, these are a lot more present when you look at the side view, especially in comparison to male and female, uh, old versus young, and so forth. Uh, for example, uh, when uh, people get older, their ears and noses, they keep on growing, right? So typically, if you would look at somebody, let's say a senior citizen, they would have proportionately bigger ears and a bigger nose. But to give you an indication, the, um, the space from the back of the eye, looking on the side view to the front of the eye, that view, right, is about the same as from the front of the eye to the front of the lips. And then of course, based on the facial proportions, but nevertheless, half of that space forward would be about tip of the nose. So these are just a couple of guidelines to get you started in your sculpting adventures. Um, yeah, I can do another video on body proportions if you like. If you want me to do that, let me know in the comments, right? Well, that's it for this short little video. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.